Hi friends, how are you? We're back. Can you believe it? Woohoo! Man, I'll tell you, it's been a while since my beloved friend Ron has been here. Mm. He's had a couple of issues, had a couple of health issues, and uh, almost been two months since he's been here, but we are so grateful my friend Ron is back. Ron, welcome back. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. And then we've got always another good. friend always here. good. Yeah, we've got another friend here. This is our friend Matt Whalen, mm. and we're coming hot off a Jesus gathering here in San Diego that we had just over the weekend. Super powerful, very precious time in the Lord. Uh, how many people do you think we have now? About seven, eight hundred. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it was very powerful. Three days. We go into these things. We're fasting for three days going into it. So there's a powerful spiritual dynamic that works here that is really exciting and very organic. It looked like a Christian Woodstock. I mean, you know, there's... 50 tents, 60 tents, RVs, people parked out in this. We do it at a, at a really beautiful facility called Green Oak Ranch. Super fun. Uh, God moved. We saw powerful things happen. People get delivered. People get filled with the Holy Spirit. And the body of Christ Amen. is edified. So it's been really a fun thing. So we've been doing these things. What is the 18th one we've 18th done? 18th or 19th. Yeah, yeah, so Matt, why don't you share just a little bit about like what uh, that experience was like for you? Yeah, well, I mean... What was it? How many years ago? Was it 2018, where Ron did a little reunion there yeah. all those years ago, and we were up at Green Oak. Right. And it was um, during that gathering the Lord started to really stir things again. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, from that time, I was saying, John, we got to go down to Texas. Yeah. Right. Lord Matt Lord is from Texas, moving. by the way. He's from College Station or Bryan, Texas, ne yeah. next door. From Boston originally, yes, but right. now in Texas. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I, we knew God miraculously gave us this house, mm -hmm. and we knew we needed to just get there and pray together. Mm -hmm. Thank you, get there yeah. and begin to seek the face of God. And at that point, the, the Lord told us there was three specific things that we were to do, and that was number one, mm -hmm. Repent for resisting the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Number two, repent for where we had um, grieved the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And then number three, repent for where we had quenched the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And so we could just come in to that little house there. And it was, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be about 35 of us, 75 showed up. Yeah. And we just began to seek God's face. Mm. And as we did that, the Holy Spirit just led, and it was four-hour gatherings, and we yeah. didn't even know who was leading. That's when we could point back. It was the yeah. Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. and that has kind of snowballed to yeah. today over oh, all these years, and we just kept doing them yeah. quarterly. Yeah, even during COVID, which yeah. and I mean, it was really a powerful time. We've every it time amazing. it's been the body of Christ showing up from all different parts of the United States actually. Yeah. So we would from San Diego go down to Texas. Originally that's how it kind of started with all of us. People coming from Atlanta and different places on the East Coast and I we we had this I don't know, it was like the vortex of glory that would hit us. It's the only way I can put it. But Ron has been really he was the one that initiated this whatever it was, four or five years ago. And um, Ron has always been a Psalm 133-er, bringing the body of Christ together, specifically the old school Jesus movement people. And so it was really, that was somewhat the catalyst for us to kind of carry this thing on. Why don't you share your thoughts on that, Ron? Well, we had, uh, back, back in the day, we had this wonderful experience together, which so many of you out there probably could relate to in the 70s, and it was fantastic and so spontaneous and free and, and life-giving and so forth. And then somehow we let it slip away. Yeah. And, uh, and in, the, in the process of letting it slip away, we damaged each other. Mm -hmm. And yeah. over the years, my heart was to kind of regather the sheep from that particular time that, that I had known anyway. Mm -hmm. And I used to travel a lot. Um, and so we kind of reconstituted the brethren and had them work through their their uh, hurts and struggles and and um, and so forth and then they finally you know then the, the internet came along some years ago mm -hmm. and that really allowed them to hook up and really yeah. make a nice connection mm -hmm. yeah. uh, with one another to be able to sort of stay regular with one another 
And then as we began to do that, John, you and I started working on the group basically. Right. You know, right. John's right. doing the John thing, which is <laughs> which is always working the crowd, man, and he's really good at it. And uh, being able to um, just, uh, we just encouraged our friends mm -hmm. to just start blending in, you mm -hmm. know, kind of incognito almost at first. <laughs> there was a few of them we brought with us. Mm -hmm. And then there were more and more and more. And over mm -hmm. time it became that there was, uh, you know, quite a few. And then these guys, you know, started having their own, you know, I mean, Matt had his own ministry thing going on and vision and so forth and said, hey, let's, let's just do this with the youth kind of, you know, mm -hmm. the older ones are back in mm -hmm. action yeah. to some mm -hmm. degree, you know, and let's help them get over the finish line. Yeah. It was a <laughs> generational merging yeah. that was taking place, yeah. and it was through friendship, uh -huh. right? Yeah, through definitely. Years and years of yeah. French, 23 years of friendship. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And all different ethnicities and yeah. ages yeah. are just blending together. We, we really believe that this next move is an Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob move that you're going to have this transgenerational kind of a, or intergenerational kind of a move of God that's going to be a collective thing. And Ron and I have shared on many of the podcasts that in the Jesus movement, there was a hundred of us to one older person. Yeah. Well, it's well distributed now. And yeah, we, sure we are not far from that generation that's below us. Like Matt would be not ne next to the generation, but... Mm -hmm in the middle there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, it's been just such an awesome thing being able to to run with Matt because he fits this role to be able to navigate us older ones through some things that we're not quite used to. Yep. And he makes it just work with us. But we've just, it's been seamless, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, amen. It's like, again, it's been friendship, family. Yeah, that's it. You know, you, you think about how there's just, what, 31,102 verses in the Bible, and mm -hmm. 5,000 of them speak of family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's one for every mm -hmm. six verses. Yeah. And, you, you know, I, I we really believe that God is, He desires a family. Right. Yeah. He desires that, that He would be, you know, it's we, we've been talking about it, He doesn't desire a franchise, He desires a family. Mm -hmm. Franchises meet under pharaohs. Mm -hmm. Families meet under the father. Amen. Right. Amen. And, Good. <laughs> and and this is this is just on his heart. And that way, you know, it's not just that we're gathering together for for another conference. Mm -hmm. I mean, the body of Christ. There's good conferences and things, but over time, you can be a little conferenced out. Yeah. Right. You're just yeah. a little burned out from the running and gunning with all that. And mm -hmm. but when you see Jesus, you see him. He's not um, forming a conference, but rather there's a community that's mm -hmm. developing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's coming from his heart. Mm -hmm. And I think we as the body def desperately need to have that modeling where we're coming together as a family yeah. and you're experiencing the koinonia of the spirit Amen. that brings about the community of yes. the Godhead. Yes. Yes. And we yes. get to experience yes. the genuine unity yeah. Absolutely. of the king. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, it's been so much fun. And, you know, it's funny, you know, like we're doing these things and, you know, you've got seven, 800 people showing up to this gig. And, uh, you know, we're just trusting God for the money because they're free. You know, people say, where's the registration? Oh, just come on in. You know? Amen. <laughs> it's like, exactly. it's amazing how that all works. Yeah. And, you know, I, I had not one like stressed moment or like, whoa, boy, we got to put this thing together. You know, we all kind of, flowed together and we're looking for that flow man yes. that's really what yes. it is yeah and we're, we're just, teaching it to the next group right exactly. behind these cameras here yeah. there's a whole group of young people <laughs> right the next one's that's right down yes. yes and they're absorbing all this and talking to us even today about right. the friendships and the model that has been given to them to just go ahead and enjoy this stuff mm. together where mm. you know it, it doesn't mean that you should have any kind of ambition whatsoever mm -hmm. that we do these things just to uh, bless the body. With right. The, the, yeah. Our gifts are meant to build up others but for the work of the ministry mm -hmm. rather than build ourselves up at our right. own ministry. Amen. Right, right, right. Amen. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think people are very interested in these titles, and I think it's biblical to have an interest in these titles, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. But what are they to do? Equip. Yeah. It's to equip. Not to be the show, but to go equip. 
the people so that we can all come into the unity of the faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's about pushing everybody else forward. Yeah. It's not so much even about a title. It certainly is not about a hierarchy. No, not at all. There's certainly not, none of those things are even in scriptural. The word clergy is not even in the scriptures, for crying mm -hmm. out loud. That's yeah. right. You know, we've got to kind of like reorient ourselves to the New Testament and get back to the simplicity of the book of Acts mm -hmm. and have that expression. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I noticed over the weekend is people felt like somehow we were in this beautiful uh, kind of bubble of love where people really cared about one another and they were shocked at how easy it was yeah. mm -hmm. for God to create community by simply all being in one place at mm -hmm. once and having Jesus live in them. Yes. And even people who didn't know the Lord were being drawn to this, which is the, the practicality of what we were hoping for, is Lord, yes. draw people to this. Stuff. We yeah. don't want to advertise and mm -hmm. be out there fluffing our feathers up. We just want to say, hey, whosoever will may come. Mm -hmm. And there's no charge, you can give if you'd like to. And in doing so, we begin to just find that people respond to yes. this loving community, they feel like they're welcomed. People kept saying, wow, there's so much kindness here. Mm -hmm. There's so much mm -hmm. happiness and joy and love here. And then it made us just want to be more together. Yeah. You know, and it just yeah. keeps compounding itself in a mm -hmm. positive way, mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, some conferences I've been at, you'll hear one speaker after another, and you may have a question or an idea or thought, there's no room for that. Mm -hmm. right. And you just get, gain more knowledge, but you already have a number of binders from, from the, the last conference, <laughs> yeah. and, and you really weren't able to get to those, even though there's good stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. It's just that people seem to be more responsive to simply having an experience of being with you, holding mm -hmm. your hand and walking mm -hmm. with you, or, or you put your arm around them and walk down the road to, to, to lunch or, or whatever. That seems to have a, a greater power and effect on the younger brethren than anything you can say to them. Yeah. yeah. I was just reading this article that uh, a mutual friend sent to, to all three of us, actually. And it was about the Azusa Street Revival. And it was talking about the kind of the, the outline of how that movement functioned and worked. And no hierarchy. It's, it says there was no hierarchy. There was no planned program. I mean, we have a certain time that we're meeting. We have a certain time that we have breakout groups. We have, I mean, we had to have those kinds of things mm -hmm. with us to just have them. But plenty of opportunity, plenty of space for people to bring their expression to the body mm -hmm. and for God to really move. And boy, yeah. did he move. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, right now? Yeah, I don't know. Amen. Amen. And I think if you look at the, the book of Acts... Uh, you know, there's there's been so many generations, even even mine, that ran after the wine at the expense of the wine skin. Amen. Amen. And I think that it's one thing to have a movement. It's another thing to per be pursuing the mover and shaker of heaven and earth. Right? <laughs> yes. And this isn't a, for us. It's, it's and especially the younger generation now. You can hear them prophetically crying out it's mm -hmm. almost like they've been spiritually in their own little cave of adullam mm -hmm. waiting for the genuine king Amen. they've seen the religious king mm -hmm. but in, in the depth of their spirit they're looking for the king of kings mm -hmm. right and yeah. there there there's many of them that um there's always going to be hype mm -hmm. but right now we're seeing hunger mm -hmm. and I think that one of the things that's just so refreshing to see about this generation is their eyes are fixed on Jesus. Amen. Right? That's right. They're, I, they're I see it. We see it, don't we, Ron? The mm -hmm. author and the yeah, of faith. They're not even so much just about revival as much as we want the revivaler. Yes. Right? Amen. And, Amen. And this is where it's getting really refreshing mm -hmm. and it's causing us to realize, okay, yeah, this isn't just about a movement or a mission. Mm -hmm. This is about how are we going to walk this out for the longevity? Yes. So it's not just a visitation, mm -hmm. but it is a habitation. It is. It and is. And it's it a is. dwelling place of God yeah. in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And we're removing the mortar of men so we can refine the living stones design of God. Amen. And Amen. getting people to believe it. You know, I remember the days when people felt like you couldn't have a house church, that that would be chaotic. Right. Mm -hmm. um, then, you know, to try and help people understand that a gathering of, you know, hundreds of people can happen 
without a great deal of structure. Yeah. Just a loose structure. We <laughs> were two, two weeks out from the gathering and we were saying, <laughs> what do we sense the Lord is saying? Mm -hmm. Where do we want to go with this? Mm -hmm. yeah. And for me, I think, that's the group I want to be with right there. You yeah. know, that's seat of the pants Jesus stuff yeah. right there. Yeah. And don't ever get away from <laughs> get that. Get on yeah. your surfboard. You know, yeah. Boy, I'll tell you. Yeah. You know, it, you don't want to have all your adventures be before you were saved. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You exactly. want to be able to have these adventures in Christ. And that's what it took. We prayed and we thought about it and we just kind of mulled it over. And, you know, then we thought... Well, how about foot washing and, and communion? Yeah, well, I don't started know how many conferences yeah. are yeah. going to jump right up to it. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Let's Hundreds of people. This. How's that going to happen, bro? <laughs> you know, and yet we gathered together a bunch of stuff and everybody mm -hmm. pitched in and everybody went for it and people stood in line to get their towel and their foot washing equipment to go wash the foot of someone else. Yeah. And I had the wonderful privilege of washing the feet of a guy that's uh, part of the rehab program out there mm. at, the, at the ranch. Yeah. Right? And yeah. what joy that was. And to see people, I heard today the testimony of a, of a father who washed his son's feet, who had gotten saved fully and filled with the Spirit, uh, Ron Torp's mm -hmm. son, yeah. uh, and spoke in tongues for his first, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, right after he, he was baptized. Mm -hmm. And uh, you hear something like that, and you realize, man, that's the stuff that's in the Bible we read mm -hmm. and we make stories about to tell yeah. people from mm -hmm. a kind of a lofty position mm -hmm. and 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 um, and have this audience listen to it yeah. rather than participate in it. Yeah. yeah. And we had a lot of young Christians that were coming into this and some non-Christians that walked into yeah. this. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. And uh, they got saved. They got uh, ba baptized in the Holy Spirit and they got baptized in water. I mean... Boom, boom, boom. We That's just the old days again, yeah. man. You want to yeah. talk about the Jesus movement? That was happening all the time. Super Let's bring fun. that back. Yeah, yeah, super fun. And, you know, listen, we, I, I think that you, whoever is watching this, you know, it's usually a remnant group that is watching something like this. I, you have to see something is stirring out there. You know, mm -hmm. we are, it looks like there's something moving us towards a, the beginning of birth pangs, let's just put it in that kind of category, yeah. that there's a shaking that's coming over us. Well, there's only one thing that cannot be shaken, and that is called the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And so we are just committed to pressing into that kingdom, yeah. that unshakable kingdom, Amen. that yeah. we can begin to bring people along with us. I mean, 23 yeah. years of a relationship. I met Matt playing basketball <laughs> on yeah. a basketball court 23 years ago. Yeah. Met Ron 23 years ago, down under drug rehab that I was building down in Mexico. Yeah. And boy, I tell you, man, God just kind of locked us in with yeah, one another. Yes. Yep. We've yep. just, what a, what a joy it has been to walk with these guys. And you know, with one of these guys gets out of line, hey, you know, I just put That's him right, right back in the line. Yeah. That's, no, how no, That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't been anything like that. We've just been enjoying the journey and our relationship with one another. And a wonderful yeah. portal to bring in your friends yeah. and people. You know, I'm able to fold in uh, these old friends of mine that I walked with 50 years ago. We were youngsters mm. together in the body of Christ. And now they're beginning to find that they have a place, yeah. mm -hmm. that they can begin to minister to these younger ones and they have a place of parenting Amen. in the body of Amen. Christ. Yeah. And Amen. then the young ones begin to realize, boy, we kind of need some moms and dads. Yeah. We don't want to do this by ourselves. Yeah, right. And yeah. before you know it, everybody's got a spot. Everybody's got yeah. a place of ministry. Right. And, and many of the flaws that were in the Jesus movement that kind of made it disappear paid over time right. or being able to be addressed by so many of you that yes. were part of that yeah that's right and so now it's not time to sit back and mull over those days it's yeah. time to step up and begin to say how Amen. do i begin Amen. to be involved in it and how do i speak to my friends who i know were part of it all and have great memories and they mm -hmm. and they have times where they talk about it together mm -hmm. but how do we activate ourselves Amen. into true ministry once again and finish well mm -hmm. you know i'd like to speak to that point of the older generation for the different ones that are watching you know, there was, there was a strength that came on you guys during that time frame, during the, the Jesus movement of mm -hmm. the 70s. It's very clear for someone like me that goes back and looks at some of those videos, looks mm -hmm. at those pictures, you can see the raw, authentic mm -hmm. anointing was, of God. Yeah. And it's like for the yeah. first time you get to see what you read in scripture, yeah. right? 
And it's like you're not looking at a stage, you're not looking at a platform, yes. you're not looking at some shiny band up there, mm -hmm. right? You're not looking at the at the show and the tinsel and the mm -hmm. lights and mm -hmm. all the stuff. You're seeing real, raw, authentic, and the power of God mm -hmm. accompanying it. Mm -hmm. So I would like to say to all those old ones that walked through moves of God that either got kicked out mm -hmm. to the desert because of just things unraveled, right? Mm -hmm or have gone into more traditional settings yeah. and are saying, wait, God, are you doing something again? I, I Start to, to put your hand and feel your hair growing again. Yeah. Feel the strength coming back on. Yes. It's just the goodness of God, right? Mm. Feel that strength of God and just repent of whatever needs to be repented of yeah. and get your hands between the pillars again. Amen. Get your hands between those pillars because... We're going to need the old gray heads in this. Mm -hmm. We're going to need the wisdom in, in what you guys have carried, the things mm -hmm. you've gone through. We're going to need uh, just that, that strength of unity that you're carrying. And these two guys have, have done it in such a way where they never went looking for the platform. We've been doing it in the back corners and street <laughs> alleys and, and old living rooms, right? Yeah. And, That's and how it is. Wherever it happens. Yeah. <laughs> but it's time to push on the pillars yeah. right now. I agree. Because I, there's a sense what God is doing, it's going to take out more, right, in this last yes, one yes. than it did in all of Samson's life beforehand. Yeah. And so for those who are watching, jump in the game some more. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. You're needed. Yeah. And not just needed, desired yeah yeah like there's a there's a genuine desire of the young generation yeah exactly to 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 welcome in the fathers and the mothers and this time too i'd say to the younger generation do it in a healthy way yeah right mm -hmm. where you're you're not becoming so dependent that it's unhealthy mm -hmm. and you're looking for somebody to be this spiritual guru mm -hmm. and answer everything mm -hmm. but rather do it in a way that you realize you have an everlasting father, Amen. right? That's Amen. your eternal father. Mm -hmm. And then for the, for the spiritual dads and moms, I'll always be pointing them to that one, Amen. right? And that yes. way we can do this well this yeah. time. Yes. And, and we yeah. don't get caught in yeah. those <clears throat> tied up religious ridiculousness. Yeah. yeah, or drawing people to yourself. Yes. You know, man, we've got to get away from these models, yeah. man. Yeah. Like it's about Jesus. Yeah. Point yeah. to him. Mm -hmm. He's our all Lord in all. It's about the kingdom of God. Yes. It yes. says, when this gospel of the kingdom is preached in all the world, then the end will come. Yeah. Yes. That's how it's going to work. Yes. So Jesus is our all in all. He was in the beginning, and he's now that more than ever. Right, right, Ron? And what's stirring right now is going to be the memories. These are going to be, when I was there over the weekend, I'm thinking people are going to look back on these videos and these photographs the same way as we're looking back on those little black and white mm -hmm images we have from the late 60s yeah. uh, these are moments when God is at, at, on the move mm, and mm, mm. we really have a privilege to take part in it mm, so yeah. uh, we don't want to just look at this as optional or anything like this it's really there is no place of retirement mm -hmm. and certainly no place Amen. of that place in which we're trying to build our own ministry yeah. uh, you know we are warned about that yeah. uh, where yes. he says you know you say you're this guy you say you're that guy right. he said when you're saying that kind of thing I can't even speak to you as mm spiritual mm -hmm. carnal uh, wow mm -hmm. but carnal yeah mm -hmm. so and we do it all the time yeah. so that carnality is easily kind of flowing out there mm -hmm. but in this round you're working with your buddies your friends mm -hmm. your pals mm -hmm. we're all in this mm -hmm. together there are no dust-ups here we're really trying to say hey how do we do this cleanly and together and how do we build some kind of memories where we're looking back on it just like myself um, 50 years from now these young ones that are around us mm -hmm. They're walking with the same people they knew when they were 21 or right. 25 or whatever they, and they remember, they, they, they then pour into their next generation. Mm. And one of these is going to be the bride. Yeah. Right. Right. Kind of ready Very well Jesus. could be yeah. us. Oh, yes. yes. I've come, Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes. Oh, Lord. You know, I, I had talked to uh, f some friends last night that uh, we have a Wednesday night gathering and I said, how did your kids like it? They're asking, when's the next one? We want oh, to go back. Wow. Thank you, <laughs> that's how yes. the kids were feeling. That's yeah. how much fun the kids had. You know, yeah. that's what I want. Right. I want right. them to know we yes. are just Amen. enjoying Jesus, loving Jesus, yeah. loving one yeah. another. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, and it's not, it goes far beyond these like 
gathering points. There's, yes. It's a lifestyle yeah. that we've made, yeah. and we've made that our lifestyle. Yes. Yeah. So that it's not, uh, we're not strategic partners in a ministry yes. to uh, for sure. forget that. Yeah. You know, yeah. mighty Jesus, have mercy on us. Yeah. We've got to yeah. move past this. And yeah. you could do this too. Yeah. Amen. You know, we, we, our next one, I'm sure, is going to be the next step. Yeah. is to how do you do it in your neighborhood? Yeah, exactly. How do you exactly. reconstitute uh, yourself and then the people around you? All yeah. of you know some neighbor or some friend or somebody that was a part of, 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 of the Lord's work. And mm -hmm. you begin to kind of gather them together, and they're probably people that have been bumped out of churches and, yeah. and had struggles and or got the divorce and are kind of trying to find their way home and yeah. so on and so forth. You gather together and pray. Yeah. You yeah. worship the Father. Yeah. And you begin to say, Father, bring your spirit here. <laughs> in yes. this place mm -hmm. and we'll be as helpful as we can understand i know many of mm -hmm. you comment uh and we try to get back to everybody as we possibly can to talk to you about how how you might be able to be encouraged or built up i know a lot of people have been just built up simply by these podcasts we thank these guys so much yeah. for helping yes. in this uh in this uh way that because so many have been touched mm -hmm. but begin to be a part of the river Head yeah. back down. Yeah. Don't get out of the cabin. Mm -hmm. Stroll back Amen. down to the river <laughs> yeah. and yes. uh, check it out. Because it's raging. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This river, this river is raging now. Yeah. We're seeing it, and we're, you're talking to some old school guys that have been in a raging That's river. Right. So right. we're telling you, there's a raging river, and it's we're in it now. We're at the very beginnings of it, yeah. and yeah. we're sensing that uh, there's a lot more to do, and there's a lot of you that are needed. Yes. yes. There's, all, needed. there's thousands of instructors few fathers Thank you, so we want to just you know kind of put this out there to you guys and just say it's not as complicated as you think mm -hmm. yeah it's a very simple message the gospel is very simple mm -hmm. how we do life is very simple yeah. mm -hmm. it's not an organization or organization it's an organism yeah it's alive yeah you're a living stone Start to roll it back into the wall. Find yourself as a living stone back in that wall. Amen. Matt, why don't you share about what's coming for our Jesus gatherings? Because we are, we're trying to do them every quarter. Yeah. Why don't you yeah. just share a little bit? Well, we'll be headed to uh, Albuquerque at the end of August, which means we've got a little gap here. And that means the Holy Spirit could drop one on us in between <laughs> from now and then. It's already been kind of spinning. But... <laughs> um, but uh, if you, in August 25th through the 27th, mm -hmm. we're going to go to Albuquerque. It's the Balloon Fiesta Park. There was a couple that um, was at last year's Jesus Gathering. When we went to Albuquerque, they were incredibly touched. They were crying out to God, is there something else out there than what we've experienced? Mm -hmm. And they came into a community of people that were flowing in the relationship of the Lord the purity, the presence, the prayers, and the power of God was all flowing yeah. as we just cried out to God and He comes when, when you ask. And so this couple went out after that Jesus gathering. Their kids got baptized in it and they were baptized in the Spirit and they're going out and prophesying and praying and mm -hmm. preaching the Word of God all over mm -hmm. the place. Wow. So they just began to um, reach out to people. They went through this thing called prayer at the heart of New Mexico. Um, and it just kind of st steamrolled to where they're like, well, I think we're supposed to do a three-day time. And th what they had expressed to me is in their heart, they were they were praying that it would be a Jesus gathering. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so our good friend in Albuquerque, Rick, uh, connected us and Hallelujah. reconnected us. And we just started talking. And it's kind of snowballed from there. So it's, so far, there's um, 3,000 people that have registered to, to come and mm -hmm. spend a weekend together, uh, just wow. seeking the face of the Lord Amen. together, making yeah. the king the king again. Yeah, right? I think part of this is, as I'm sure these guys have already said in some of these uh, podcasts, Jesus just wants his church back. Yeah, that's, right? that's the he, reality of it. He wants his bride, and, Thank you. you know, we got to get our, I, we call it the Windex ministry, mm -hmm. right? We've got to start spraying to get everybody's fingerprints off of it yes. and it should just be the lord's hands yes. that are there yes. so that's happening in albuquerque after that we go to boston again yeah wow. and for all those watching be pressing in in prayer yes. for that yes. northeast area yeah right yeah. something's getting ready 
to break free. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we've been hoping to see all the different moves of God that have happened all over the land kind of converge. Yeah. The mm -hmm. great awakenings, yeah. the, the you know, the Azusa Street time, yes. and the yes. Jesus movement of the 70s. Well, all these things movement. start, yeah. these things start mm -hmm. converging and... That way, we're we're getting the fullness of what God Amen. was restoring yeah. in each of those. Yes, 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 and, yes. And we yes. can see a fuller picture here. Yeah, and your retirement, begin to look at your retirement as a place in which you serve the body. Yeah. Not Amen. that you are retiring from God's work. We can't really do that. There's not found in Scripture. Right. We've got to go ahead and retire, you might say, to the arms of the Lord Amen. when we pass. Yeah. But yeah. now is the time to take a little bit of that money, to take a little bit of that RV time, uh, yeah. take a little bit of that uh, thing to move around, start yeah. to start attending, yeah. trying to jump in on some of these things wherever they are, and uh, or else open up your own home and put some food Many, out. And yeah. suggest Do something. To come on by. Many yeah. of the people in Texas that you know we all kind of mm -hmm. started off with this little crew, they take this, these are their family vacations, mm -hmm. and they're all coming back and saying. This is so much more life than just going mm. somewhere mm. and, you know, hanging out on a beach. It's like, hey, you come to San Diego, you can get both. Yeah, <laughs> right? exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and you can tell everybody about Jesus and be Hallelujah. among a bunch yes. of believers. And yes. the life of God is flowing. Yeah, yeah. Everything we've always wanted in our heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's moving powerfully. Listen, the scriptures are very clear. And you look at Joel, it says the latter is going to be greater than the former. Yeah. We're in that time period now. Yeah. This is the time we're in. Amen. We find ourselves in this time period Amen. where the latter is going to be greater than the former. Yeah. So I and my beloved brothers here just want to invite you into this because yeah. he's about ready to do something very, very powerful. Matt, where, where can they find this? Uh, www.thejesusgathering.org will have all the information on it. You can find us on facebook all that before yeah. they rip all that down but yeah. you can find it now yeah uh there so yeah so exciting times amen we're excited yeah we're motivated yeah. so we want you to be that have that fire back inside amen. of you yes. Yes. yeah yeah we're just grateful for what god's yeah. doing we're just so excited about what he's doing and yes. we're glad to be a part of it but we just want to say bless you thank you for watching we love you yes